Hey guys. Ooh, calm down. So this right here is a northern water snake. And this is by far the biggest one I've been able to find. I don't know if you can see its head like that, but what it's doing, hey, 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 hey. What it's doing is flattening its head into a triangle shape to make it look like a venomous snake. He's also puffing himself up to make himself look like the water moccasin, which is a black snake about this size. Now those people over there don't know much about snakes. Now, these are my new Chris shoes. Condes, great cameraman, wanted to point out that I wasn't gonna go in after him because I had nice shoes on. That's not gonna stop me, never. Not for something like this, look at that. There you go, try to get close to that head. He's puffing it up. And the reason he does that is looking like a moccasin. Not many things are gonna wanna mess with you looking like that. You're okay, you're okay. What an absolutely giant snake. We saw it dive back underneath. We weren't sure if we were gonna be able to get it, but the second I saw it move again, ooh, I went for it. Ooh, hey, you're okay. Wow, what an absolutely massive snake. Now, he really wants to bite me right now, but maybe he'll calm down. Easy, you're okay. You don't take off, don't take off just yet. Wow, look at that. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. But see, the snake's not gonna go straight to bite me because I'm not acting like a threat right now. And if you look, he'll put his head back to the regular shape because if he doesn't feel threatened, he's not gonna try to bite me. And right now, he doesn't feel very threatened. Now, northern water snakes are non-venomous, so even if I did get bit, it would not do anything to me. But look at that. Now that he's calmed down a little bit, look at that snake. What an absolute beauty. Look at that patterning. Oh, wow. Look, my hand is right next to his face and he is not trying to bite me at all. They become very, very docile once they realize they're not under attack. But see, a lot of people get scared of snakes like this and they instantly want to kill them. But the reason I tell them not to is because they're just out living their life. I can just put my hand back underneath. Look at that. Will not try to bite me because he doesn't feel threatened anymore. He doesn't feel like he's in trouble. But he'll still flatten out that head to make himself seem like he's big. Ooh, see that? See that? You're okay, bud. You're okay. You're okay. That's why you gotta watch. Don't wanna scare him. You're okay. But I'm a very, very firm believer in body language. So if I stay very calm, the snake is gonna stay very calm too. Look at that. You ever seen a snake that big? And this guy goes swimming in the water. And he eats things like fish and sometimes even little frogs if he can catch them. Look at that head. Looks like a triangle. He's puffing himself up right now. Because water moccasins do look very, very similar to this right here. Especially if he keeps his body together, his, his patterning, it becomes harder to see because it's all close together. But he'll flatten his head like that. So he looks like a venomous snake. But in reality, he's not venomous. And look at him. He's a very calm guy right now. There's a duck over there yelling about something. Not really sure what his problem is, but I'm having the time of my life right here. Look at this snake. Absolutely huge. And did you see that? Just a few moments ago, this snake was trying everything in his power to bite me. But now, it's completely calm. And he could still strike, but as long as I stay calm and try to keep my volume nice and quiet, which is kind of tough, because right now, I'm inside, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I'm freaking out. Look at this snake, look how beautiful that is. Wow, 
You're okay, you're okay. Ooh, you're okay, bud. I'd say right around two feet. Ooh, you're okay. And I am not worried about this snake at all. Because he has calmed down quite a bit. And if something were to happen and I were to take a bite, he is a non-venomous species, so I am not worried about being this close to him at all. He's just sitting. A snake. And this is not a pet. This is a wild snake. That a few moments ago, as you saw, was doing nothing but trying to bite. Now, he's calmed down quite a bit. I keep calling him a he because the males are usually a lot, lot darker. And females are normally a lot bigger and more robust. Because then mama's got to be big and strong. Look at that. Now something I love about snakes is the Jacobson's organ. It's this really cool little thing on the top of their mouth on the inside. And what they do is with that forked tongue, they flick it out and they use the, the two little prongs on the end to take in scents and pick up little scents in the air. And then when they take their tongue back into their mouth, they send those scents into the Jacobson's organ. And what it does, it, is a, it actually kind of builds a little viewpoint of the world around it so we can tell what's around him. So right now he's smelling us to know what he does. But smelling things. It's smelling with its tongue. What the heck? Oh, you're okay, you're okay. Yeah. Don't want to get too loud. Don't want to upset him. Look at that. Northern water snake. Out here watching the sunset. Got some pink clouds out over there. And we out here finding water snakes. Look at that, just coils himself up. What an absolutely beautiful snake. And snakes are by far my absolute favorite animal out there. And I think one of the biggest thing that draws me to them is they're just little ropes. They're just little lengthy things, little worms. They can climb trees, they can swim. They can do almost anything other animals can do but they smell with their tongue. They can unhinge their jaw to be able to swallow prey bigger than them. You just unhinge your jaw and just consume anything. That's Kirby. Like what? That's crazy, but that's a living animal. Yes. And I am not worried at all about him by trying to bite because he has calmed down quite, quite a bit. And what he was doing before we interrupted him was he was probably out here hunting for little fish that were trying to get comfortable and get ready as the night time comes. He was probably out taking care of them. Saw some little ripples. Maybe he's got some friends out there. But wow, would you look at that. A northern water snake. Wow. All right, so we're trying to be calm and quiet because with the cameraman, Condes, moving back and forth and moving around a bunch trying to get some footage. The little guy's getting a little upset with him. Hasn't snapped at me at all, but snapped at Condes a little bit. He doesn't like Condes, but he likes me. So right now, we're gonna go let him go. No, I bet it's because you don't want to leave me. We'll let you go. We'll see you later, big boy. Wow. Now we're gonna go ahead and head home. Wow, what a way to end the night. Finding a giant northern water snake. Oh.